to shoot through the gap between the second and third. Let's just try not to get hit, okay? Yeah, good strategy. Gerald, I'm good knowing you. Try to remember me as I am now, okay? Not as I will be tomorrow. You know, dead. Oh. Grandma! Grandpa, I'm home! <laughs> hey, Grandpa. I got a problem. Shoot it at me, short man! You see, there's this big jerk who says... Says he's gonna beat you up, eh? Yeah. Gonna give you 24 hours to dangle, eh? That's right. Wants to pound you flat and use your face for second base, eh? Yeah, yeah, what should I do? I have no idea. Doc, doc, I say! Ooh, he's got a bat! What are you gonna do, Arnold? Swing it at us? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swing it. I'm gonna swing it all day. Ha <laughs> yes! If the wind's in the east, I should probably shoot for the gap between second and third. Just try not to get hit, okay? Yeah, good strategy. Well, Gerald, it's been good knowing you. Try to remember me as I am now, okay? Not as I will be tomorrow. Dead. Hey, Grandpa, I got a problem. Shoot it at me, short man! Well, See, uh, there's this big jerk at school. He says he's gonna... Says he's gonna beat you up, eh? Um, yeah. Gonna give you 24 hours to dangle, eh? That's right. Big guy, huh? Slow, but with lots of power. Squash you like a bug, eh? Yeah, yeah. What should I do? I have no idea. I gotta think of something, Grandpa. Back! Back, I say! Oh, he's got a bat. What are you gonna do, Arnold? Swing it at us! Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swing it. I'm gonna swing it all day! <laughs> the only tree left in the neighborhood. I love this tree. No matter how much everything changes, we know one thing for sure. This tree will always be standing. Um, Miss Caulfield, my name's Arnold, and I have to do a report on my favorite writer, and that's you. I really love all your books, and if I could just have a few words with you, it would really mean a lot to me. Please? All right. Why? Because you wrote these books. Because when I read them, they made me happy. And because even though you say you don't believe in all the stuff that you wrote in your books, I know that deep down, you really do believe it. You couldn't have written these stories if you didn't. Maybe you don't believe in yourself anymore. If that's really true, I'm sorry. But I still believe in you. And you're still my favorite author. Maybe we should at least try to be optimistic. Maybe we should look on the bright side. What bright side, football head? We have this beautiful view. Keep trying, Arnold. There's no school today. Skip on down. Hey, look. It's the Mayflower. Helga. The symbol of the pilgrims on the first Thanksgiving. It must be some kind of sign, Helga. Maybe you're right. Well, some people aren't going to make it today, Eugene. Really? Who? Everybody. See, I called everyone about the party this morning, and no one got an invitation. I think it's kind of my fault. That's ridiculous. There's all kinds of ways to lose weight. Huh, yeah, like that cruise I went on? I mean, other ways. You could exercise and start eating healthier. I can't do that stuff. Look, Helga, I know this whole thing must be pretty scary for you, but I don't want you to worry, because I'm going to take care of you until you feel better. Though I'm sure you'll feel better once you get home. Home? What is home? Home is where you live. You know, your house. Helga! Helga, you can't walk in the street. You have to stay on the sidewalk. Come on, blue boy! Come on, Otto! Come on, blue boy. I know you can do this. You want my son? Show me my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I'm confused. Did you just say you love me? What? Are you dead? Otto! Not now! Not now? Who the... This is all happening too fast. I feel... I feel dizzy. I need to lie down. Wonderful. I'll go with you. No! The tape that'll prove this neighborhood is a national historic landmark and can never be destroyed. All I need is a VCR and I can show you what I'm talking about. Hi. Nice bow. Huh? I like your bow because it's pink like your pants. Speaking of which, where is the biggest sap of them all? Right here, Helga. And I have a present for you. 
Today's the anniversary of the day my parents left and never came back. I'm sorry, man. Hey, never mind what those guys said. They're just goofing. They don't know what's going on with you. I know. It's just that I want to be by myself today, that's all. You sure you don't want some company? No, thanks. Go on, Gerald. Have fun at Dino Land. Ride one for me, okay? <laughs> Abner was a wedding present to my parents? That's right. A wedding present from the green-eyed people. Correct. And you were gonna eat him? Wait, I... Grandma! Grandpa! You have to see this! I found a map! Grandma! Grandpa! You have to see this! I found a map! A map. The key to finally finding my missing parents. Grandpa, I had that dream again. Oh? What happened this time? My parents were here. Well, sort of. And it seemed like they were going to stay. Whatever you say, Helga. Sorry, Gerald. I promised Grandpa I wouldn't. But he did say I could find their best friend at Wardo. <laughs> oh, actually, I do have something to confess. <laughs> yeah. You ever feel like there's a hole in your heart? Yes! All the time! This whole trip's been about one thing. I want to find my lost parents. This must be about the sleeping sickness. That my parents came here to cure. Mom, Dad, do you know what they are? Please, do you know these people? I don't know. I think your heart is more pure than you know. <gasps> well, Arnold, you ready for the worst day of school? You mean the first day of school? That's what I said. Come on, Gerald. Look at the bright side. We're in sixth grade now. How bad could it be? 